There's a woman out of time in Marvel Strike Force because Peggy Carter has arrived as the latest member of this Rebirth team. Is this team worth your money? Is this team worth building? We're answering those questions for you as we open some orbs for Peggy Carter and give you some T4 and ISO 8 recommendations. So if you're ready for all of that, Valley Club, then you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Valley Club. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Club? Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying, and I hope you're having a great 2023, and I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're talking all about Peggy Carter, Captain Carter, who's the latest member of this Rebirth team to arrive in Marvel Strike Force, and we're opening some orbs for him. We're giving some T4 and ISO 8 recommendations. But before we get to all that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. At least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel with the latest tips, tricks, gameplay. We got orb openings like this. We got lists. We got news. Everything to help your Marvel Strike Force experience. But let's go into the game and talk about Peggy Carter right now. She is the latest member of this rebirth team to arrive and she is looking very good she looks like a very important character especially on this rebirth team captain carter looks to be a very important member of this team so we're gonna need some good red stars on her if we want this rebirth team to run like we want it to so let's go open some gold orbs here see if we are in a good seat and unfortunately i wanted drew here but he's not here today oh we are right into the purples already Let's go, baby. Let's go right into these. And maybe if we get a seven, maybe we'll go back and buy the offer for her. Let's see what we get. We may even open a seven. Oh my goodness. There's a seven red star Scarlet. Not a huge upgrade, but it appears we are in a very good seat here. Oh, there's a four star Captain Carter. I don't know if four is good enough though. Should we go for another one? Should we go for a six? Let's go for, let's go for, let's open two of these fives. Let's go, baby. We got it. Oh, it's gold in the middle. Oh, it's crossbones, unfortunately. We're getting a lot of uh, golds here. We're getting a lot of sevens here. We might be in a good seed. There's a five of miles. Not what we wanted. All right, so we got two sevens here in this orb opening. We do have an elite six. Do we go for another one? Let's open some more of these elite fours. We have a bunch of these saved up from... Oh, it's yucky. It's yuck. It is an upgraded Dr. Strange, not an important character. And I think we're going to test our luck. We're going to play the odds here. I don't see a lot of characters that are too important coming up that uh, may need more red stars than Captain Carter. We have Titania coming up. We have this Masters of Evil coming up. Not sure how necessary they are. So, all right, let's, let's see. Let's see with this. If we get this, Agent Venom is a damage dealer. He's he's going to be important, but I think Captain Carter is going to be the stuff. Let's go. I'm hesitant. But let's do it. We've been saving this for a long time. It is. Oh, it is Madeline Pryor. Uh, so we get an upgrade. We have a four on our Captain Carter. Let's open two more of this. Let's see if we get some more stars on her. Oh, it's a five. So we, we're still in a good seat. Just the wrong character there. And one more. And it is not Captain Carter. So it looks like we're stopping at four with Captain Carter. Although we have a lot of these saved up. Let's open 10 of these. We're opening a lot. I do have a six, but I do want to save some for some of the other characters as well. We didn't save our, we didn't save our seven, but we saved our six. Poor OG Strange, you're right. He has no team. <laughs> There's nothing to do with him right now. All right, this this doesn't appear to be... Uh, and we don't appear to be in a good seat anymore. Maybe that seat is based on time. And our time has expired to be in a good seat. Oh, yeah, we got all the, all the worst luck here. Oh, no. Oh, we got another Captain Carter there. Oh, we got a Dark Beast. We need, we need stars on him. Lots of greens here. Yeah, it looks like our luck has run out on all these uh, seeds or on all the uh, stuff. We'll, we'll probably open another one. 
Maybe not today in this video, but we'll open another one there. You know what? Let's go. One more. One more. All right. Captain Carter or bust. And it is. Yuck. All right. We should have. We should have just. Uh, done nothing let's go talk about the t4 and iso 8 recommendations for captain carter now we have a very good assist counter chance here uh it's going to be some damage some piercing damage regeneration to the most injured ally and if that ally is rebirth you're going to get a regeneration for two turns instead the basic t4 does nothing except more damage on the passive here it's going to get more regeneration when you actually do the basic but the assist counter chance it only increases damage. This is one that I think you could skip. All right, so this is a, dec this is a decent one, but I think you could skip this one, at least uh, for right now. This is a nice one, this special here, because what she's going to do is she's going to heal herself and rebirth allies and reviving a dead rebirth ally with 30% base health, base health. And if there's no rebirth allies to revive, you're going to stand positive effects. But if you do revive a rebirth ally... They're going to return, instead of with 30% of their base health, they're going to return with 60% of their base health, which could be the difference between reviving them and having them die right away or reviving them and having them survive and actually make a difference in the battle. So this could be a huge one. Also getting 100% damage to the primary target. This is a very good one. I don't think it's the best T4 for Captain Carter, though. This ultimate has a three-turn cooldown, which means you're using this a lot. Uh, your big AoE attack, you're getting more AoE, more damage, 100% extra damage to the 250 that is there. Cling all negative effects from self, two negative effects from allies. And instead of safeguard for one turn, you're going to go safeguard for two turns, three birth allies and raids. That is very, very good for the survivability of the team. So this is, this is a very, very good one, but again, not the best. And I think that goes to this one. And I like these passives. I like the T4s that affect the entire team. And in the raids, when this character or any rebirth ally drops below 30% for the first time, to heal that character for 30% of this character's max health, this is a strong one. This is going to help them in the raids. This is going to help them to survive. So this is a very good one to do. So in order here, I would go passive, then ultimate, then special. And if you really, really want to do the basic, then you could do the basic. Uh, and as far as ISO 8 classes, well, this is a nice assist counter. I think that makes a strong argument for Skirmish, uh, Striker. But she's healing on this move. She has regeneration on this move. Her ultimate, she's also healing. She heals on her passive when they drop below 30% max health for the first time. So increasing that healing, increasing the survivability, I think that gives the... Um, that gives you the uh, uh, good case for healer i think healer is going to be the best class for her because of all the healing that she does now how can you unlock her well we have a event called woman out of time coming up on january 18th and that is when i think that her event is going to come down what kind of event how will uh how many stars will you get on her i think that's the big question for uh captain carter here let's go back in the game take a look at the captain carter and talk about this rebirth team how necessary are they right now in the game as far as right now, what we need from them, I don't think they're necessary right now. And there you see all those uh, promotions that we got with that uh, orb opening. Not the best opening for Captain Carter, but not the worst either. Uh, so I don't think they're that necessary right now. The Web Wars in the lower Doom Raids do pretty good. The Gamma team does pretty good. But we're at Doom 3.5 right now with rumors, worries of Doom 4 coming. And at that point, I think that is when we're going to need this Rebirth team. Obviously, like a lot of these fully synergized teams, you're gonna they're gonna have a lot of value in war, a lot of value in the crucible. But I think you can hold off on these characters right now. I think eventually they will be very, very important. So try to get as many gold stars as you can on them, try to get as many red stars as you can on them. But as far as putting your gold, your training mats, and your gear into them, I think you could hold off at least for a little bit, unless you're really struggling with the raids right now. And that is it for this video. Hopefully it helps you make a decision one way or the other if you want to purchase Captain Carter and heavily invest in this rebirth team. I think you eventually will. I don't think you need to do it right now, though. And that is my opinion of this team. Healer for the best ISO 8 class for her and the T4s passive, then ultimate then special and then if you really want to do the basic you can do that so hopefully this video helps you hopefully it's entertaining for you hopefully you get better luck with captain carter than i did in this video 
and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Check out some of the sponsors down below if you want to support the channel. Check out some of my other videos. Before you go, make sure you gave me that Hulk fist bump. Have a great rest of your day. Valley flying out.